ever closer to the castle. Hmm. Look at this place. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. That's suspicious. Birds? I'll never let you pass! <laughs> Die at once! Oh. That's a big guy. He has big feet. Yeah, well. You know what they say about bots with big feet? I actually don't know. They say, damn, you got some big feet. Ah. That makes sense. Now, if you notice, the guy with the big feet is like oh. the guys with the giant hands, except yeah. sort of upside down. Yeah. They're actually pretty amazing. There's actually later versions of those big machines that switch between the two modes. Oh, really? Also notice how the feet things are electric, getting too close. Trying to attack that with a melee weapon hurts, so you have to destroy the legs first before you can, with your gun, before you can actually uh, melee attack. Did he have the laser thing on his butt? Yes, on, well, on his back, so. Okay. I guess it's the butt if he's turned around. Yeah. It's kind of hard to say what's up and what's down with these Yeah, things. when they can just flip over. Yeah. Because there's the head, you said, between the legs. Yeah. I thought that was weird before, but now I get why. Yeah, because if they flip over, they still then have a, hat, a head on top. Hmm. And that was a home run. <laughs> nice. But before we actually get closer to the castle, there's some more... There's, there's a few goodies we can pick up. If we go over here, for example. Because we're supposed to go over the bridge over on that direction, yeah. on that side. This won't actually get you closer to the castle, but there is a little chest here. Oh, yeah. With a couple materials. Yeah, free sheesh. Always good to get more free uh, stuff. Also, less good to fail your jump. Luckily, you just take a little bit of damage and you get deposited back where you jumped. Actually, it's where you jumped too. In that case. Yeah, yeah. I don't know exactly. I think it's just in a certain area, if you fall, it just yeah. always puts you back on the same spot. Now, there's one more thing to get here, and it requires a little bit of platforming. Because we have all these arches here, as you can see. Mm -hmm. And there's this pillar that's fallen <gasps> over. Yay! Climbing and stuff. Yay! And despite everything, if you use that, if you use pod jumping, mm -hmm. at least to get to the arch, it's not too bad. Like, I did this, like, on my first playthrough, I Ooh. think I did this in, on, like, my third try, which, all things considered, is not bad. Yeah. It helps that you have a glide and double jump and air dash. Like, as you can see, that just really helps. Dang, I feel like I'd be terrible at this. So Cypress stick. Weapon. Just a stick. Is it like a spear weapon? No. No. It's a small sword. Oh. Oh. A stick made of cypress wood. Oh. And is it has it, some really good sounds. Is it any good though? It's not bad. Oh, that's nice. So even though it's not like technological in any noise. way, it's not technological in any way. She can still make it like spin in the air and stuff. Yep, she still can control it like that. Hmm. But for now, we're uh, we're gonna go back to other weapons yeah. because it's unupgraded and well, I mean this is also unupgraded, but it's big and made of metal. Yeah. When that thing upgrades, does it become better, usable? Uh, def uh, I mean, all weapons are... That's a nice thing. All weapons are usable. Mm -hmm. Like, none of them are particularly bad. It's just... It's very easy to just have a preference, whether that is for, like, the additional stats or just the way weapons look. Mm. Like, you can just base your weapon selection purely on what you think looks cool. Mm. And it's not really detrimental at are all. Are there any joke weapons? Um... Not really. I guess the cypress stick, you could sort of see that as a joke weapon. Hmm. Yep. But it's it does, like it is kind of useful. Right. Dang. I mean, all, 
it is usable. Just, it is usable. There is a weapon that will get quite a ways away that is a reference hmm. to something not related to Nier. <laughs> After all, this is a Square Enix game. Are you gonna get a Buster Sword? No. Oh. You'll see. It, It'll it be a be busted a sword. <laughs> So, fun thing about this castle is that a lot of it is in 2D mode. Yeah. Which I personally, I like the 2D two, the two mode. Yeah, it looks not, real, really cool. Yeah, the, the fighting just translates, I think, really well into a 2D environment. Of course, since this is a castle, there are plenty of treasures to be had. And horsemen just running around inside. Yeah. So you can just talk I mean, to 9S whenever you want. Does he ever say anything uh, that's, interesting? That's actually not talking. Oh, what is them. it? Not really. Um, it's something that I'll be showing off in one or two videos from now, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, I... I will show off what it is uh, when you interact with 9S. It's hmm. not talking. It's not so. It's not like hints. Like the only real hints you get is just be... look on your map. Roger hmm. that, nine. And you just follow the. Huh? <laughs> Wait, what did you Wait say? Wait a minute. Roger Wait that, a minute. Nine. Wait, no, that's not what you said. You said nines, or at least something close to. Cut the chatter and engage the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> nine. -z. Nines. Well then. I mean, she's making That's an effort. Yeah, well, she was until he started noticing. Analysis. This part belongs to a machine life form. Hmm. Don't need this. No, we don't. So you just leave so it? She just puts it back, yeah. Hmm. We will eventually, eventually get to what those are. Hmm. But for now, just know that there's a couple of those. <laughs> that was awesome. There's a, there's a couple of those to be found in this castle. Whoa. That's one of the uh, the sort of horse guys. Is they also have a bipedal mode. Yeah. Where they become like samurai ninja guy. Hmm. Which, which are fun to fight. I think. Oh, there's the I've little guy. I didn't even see the little guy on the left. Yeah, the little the little guy just sort of got in there. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Missile pod is pretty fun. It's not the best pod, like I said, but it's it's a fun pod. Yeah. Let, let's try comet bracers with different weapons. Let's let's try spears with hmm. comet bracers. Hmm. Always trying to keep the weapon selection fresh. Because all the weapons deserve some time in the limelight. Anything else? Hmm. Well, I mean, we've taken quite a few of their lives so far. Yeah, but they weren't using them. <laughs> I guess. I mean, they're machines, you know, whatever. Machines don't actually live. Yeah. Also, I love the counter on the on the gauntlets. Yeah. Because you just, you just sort of fly, you, you sort of shoot forward under the enemy, and then you just launch him up, and then just knock him uh, away. Like that. Yeah. I think the animation work is just so well done. Also, just the way machines move is very machine-like. Mm -hmm. Like, even even when a machine, even machines like Pascal, who who seems a lot more fluent, I guess, than other machines in, like, the way he talks and such. Yeah. He still moves. Oh, who would have thought those were the machines? They were mixed in were so... Blending. They were blending in so well with the armors. Weird. That's a huge painting. Yep. Also, that's a huge snake. It's one of these guys. Oh, yeah. 
forgot about really these dudes. It. Oh, these see are pretty, ya. Oh, there These he is. are pretty, uh, pretty annoying to fight. Like, they, well, they, like in 2D mode, they're actually, I think, easier to fight. Though still, kind of, kind of difficult. Yeah. Because you have to, you have to sort of time getting, you know, getting in there. Plus, if you're not Ow. careful, they can really lay on the pain. Luckily, like that, you can just sort of dash through them. Ooh. But yeah, be be careful about what you touch. It's very dangerous. Also, missiles aren't that good against them. It's actually better to just use uh, basic basic gun pod. Pod programs generally, I think, are the best way to deal with these guys. Unless you've got a hammer. I mean, that's a pod program. Oh right, yeah. Oh, that did. Yeah, th these guys are, these guys are pretty tough. I mean, I could, I could have just run past it, but you know, now, For now it's become personal. Yeah. It's become personal. Also, more unit data, because I didn't have that one yet. Mm. Now, of course, a keen eye like yours must have seen that ledge. I definitely didn't. Oh, well, there was ledge. <laughs> I mean, it's easier to to see if you're just playing. Yeah. I wonder if we'll oh, so see any more hidden hidden robots, hidden machine life forms pretending to be armor. We actually won't. That Aww. was just the one room. I'm sorry. Darn. They were just waiting in the one room. And this looks like a library. Some kind. We were here before, but yeah. Sort of a centralized room. Also, we can go one floor higher. There's a lot of se there's there's quite a few secrets in this castle. I'm not, gra I'm not grabbing everything in this. I really like video. it when games do this. Like, there are rooms you come back to at a higher level, and you have to navigate yeah. from room to room to get to the higher levels. Like, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. It gives you an idea, it gives you a very clear sense of progression, because it's just, you go up, therefore progression. Right, and you can also, look, you can look down and say, I was there. Oh, snap. Yeah. This guy. Why I oughta. On one hand, easier to fight, on the other, a lot more dangerous in some of its movements. Yeah. Especially when it does this. Well, not, not this yet, actually. Countering and just perfect dodging is really important. Like, all of those were counters every time you heard that noise. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, just don't, don't dash into them like I did. I was being dumb. Now this... Ooh. Nothing you can do. Just... Be careful, is all I can say. But if you do do a thing, you take no damage. Mm hmm Like, I even stayed inside at some extra just to show off. <laughs> but yeah, like, laser is probably, like, the best pod program, honestly, to deal with these guys. Because it just goes right through, yeah. Yeah, because it just pierces, so it always hits them. Now... Here's something interesting, because, well, here's something interesting in a second. First we have oh. another access point to activate, luckily, Interesting. Which is nice, so we could just leave. Do they the give an explanation why there are so many access points? Like, Not really. Okay. But there is, there is a, one of the best secret, well, not really a secret, it's kind of a secret. It's not hard to find. Is that a steampunk box? There's <gasps> the blacksmith. The forest blacksmith is here in the castle. Blacksmith Masamune. Oh. Oh, good. They give him his name, yeah. Yeah. He is the one who can actually upgrade your weapons. Well, first off, he sells the same weapons as the machine weapon sells. Okay. Second, he is the only one who can upgrade your weapons from level three to four. As you can see, with the oh. in the other shops, there wasn't a money cost. 
Right. But here you can see it costs 10,000 G, as well as a bunch of materials, of course, to upgrade weapons to, s to level 4. Hmm. At which point they also gain their second special stat. In the case of the virtues, in the in the case of the virtues weapons, you get holy uh, the holy effect. Hmm. Four black and four white weapons. Which sword was he talking about? The virtuous contract. Oh, I see. The virtuous weapons are the four white weapons, and right. then there are also four black weapons. Mm. One of which Nine S has right now. Oh. And yeah, from now on we know where Masamune is, and uh, we can come back here and. It's very easy to get there. Get for yeah, there's even a transporter like nearby. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is just pull that lock out a little. Why are we pushing now, from the block here, so you far? Well, we need to get back up there. All oh, right. You could just jump down and just walk around again, but that just takes yeah, longer. So it's. It's easier to just push the block in a bit and make the jump correctly. <laughs> it is easier when you make the jump correctly. Yeah. Now, as we enter here, we get attacked. <laughs> well, you kind of just dash past them. <laughs> you could. A couple feet past them. Where's, where's the honor in that? No, I mean, you just did it. You came back, but they're like, don't give an <laughs> inch. And... <laughs> Besides, they'll... They'll all die. And... Mm. It'll be very tragic. For their also little machine rifle. Also notice that the music just stopped. Mm -hmm. Just because this is their last line of defense, we're like, right next to the throne room. I mean, like, you came to see what it is, the throne, the forest kingdom. Yeah. You didn't even come looking to destroy them all. Nope. They just attacked us. To be fair. I mean, they, they have good, they have good reason to think you're gonna kill them all. That is usually how this thing goes. Mm -hmm. But and Tubi's not so much of a talker. So. Nope. And Ash wasn't talking much either. Yeah. But that's that's. I the mean, last he's of kind us. of a a jerk, anyways. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see what this what this forest king is about. Oh boy. Is this their king? <laughs> to be that's an android. A Yorha type android. Alert. This unit is currently wanted by Yorha. Annihilation recommended. Annihilation? But why? Let's go, 9S. To be? <laughs> Bunker to 2B and 9S. We've picked up a signal from the black box of a fugitive known as A2. What you see in front of you is your enemy. But she's... She deserted us. She's destroyed multiple pursuit androids. Now kill her before she kills you. Oh, and snap. So we fight A2. A2, who is very dangerous. Yeah, she seems dangerous. Caution advised. She is somewhat susceptible to counterattacks, though. Mm -hmm. And then you just punch her real hard. Whoa! Yeah, she got knocked away. 
So yeah, she similarly to the Yorha units you fight in Yorha Betrayer, she uses basically all of 2B's moveset. Mm. Except you can see she doesn't have a pod. Right. And she just has a small sword and a great sword. She's pretty dangerous. Be yeah. Careful. So she still hasn't she said anything. Out. Nope. Been completely silent so far. Just grunting. I mean... My papa always warned me about the allure of beautiful women. <laughs> That's not true. My dad... My dad doesn't tell me about anything. <laughs> But yeah, they, honestly, I, I, I enjoyed this fight a lot. It's a good fight. Oof. Dangerous, though. She... She moves hella yeah, quick. Like, she is very fast. When she disappears off screen like that, get ready to jump. Oh, boy. Why? Why did you betray us? Command is the one that betrayed you. Let's go after her, 2B. She's gone. Operator. This is 9S. Patch me through to the commander. Roger that, 9S. I'm sorry, commander. We failed to defeat the fugitive. I see. Well, at least you're both safe. That's an incredibly powerful unit you just faced. You should probably keep your distance in the future. Commander, why did A2 desert the force? I'm afraid that's classified. Oh? Huh. To be? Yeah? Let's go ask Pascal about A2. He might know something. All right. Um, Pascal? This is 9S. Oh, you survived. How wonderful. Yeah, we're fine. But there's something we want to ask you about. Of course. Anything. Actually, it needs to be in person. Hmm. Understood. I'll open the gate we built to deter enemy invaders. You'll be able to reach the village through there. So that was A2. How the heck is anybody else going to know what A2's desertion reasons were? I mean, unless A2 wrote a big manifesto before leaving. I mean, there's probably... I mean, there's probably something that might have hindered towards... And also, it seems like A2 was against the Forest King. That must which be was apparently a baby. Yes. Oh. Hey. We have been expecting you. Thanks. Pascal told us about you. We will open the gate. Okay. Ah, glad, glad we're back to pacifist machines rather than night machines. <laughs> oh, but, okay. Yeah. Apparently, all this time, this is incredibly close to Pascal's village. Mm -hmm. We will continue to. Okay. Well, I mean, the kingdom is pretty much gone now. Yeah. I think have fun the king guarding. is dead. Long live the king. Yeah. Except no long live the king, because there is no, there is no next king. Six, the king is just dead. Six emperor Tyrannus. <laughs> I guess. Mm. Yeah. So we met a two, who. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty awesome, I have to say. Yeah. I love A2's design. Oh, and here we are. And here we are, this close to the village all this time. Hmm. Also, there's a box here. So many questions now. Yeah. Oh, look! This guy is spiffy. Yep. That's <laughs> Dad Machine. Oh! He's a dad probably one of 40 or 50 of them. I'm surprised you wish to speak with me personally. Whatever is the matter? It'll be faster if you just take a look at this recording. I see. Information 
information about this A2 android is indeed contained within our archives. We all understand her to be rather dangerous. However, she's never visited our village in person. My apologies. That's all the information I have. I see. All right, thanks. Let's stay sharp and head back to the resistance camp. We should run a check on our consciousness data and resupply. So, yeah. Oh. A2. We don't know anything. We might never know. For now, back to camp. <laughs>